right. So how did you get in touch with Strategy First? I believe Strategy First actually approached us um, a couple months ago at this point. Um, I have an intern working for me. Uh, his name is Brian Matthews. And um, they contacted me. And, you know, we've had contacts before from various publishers. But I was like, oh, Brian, why don't you take a look and see what they were doing? So they were very interested in getting particularly Morning's Wrath on Steam. Um, but then when we told them about all of our other games, they wanted pretty much the whole back catalog to put up there. And for me, I was like, oh, you know, why not at this point? Um, you know, extra notoriety is great. It would be nice to get some titles on Steam and, you know, form a relationship with the publisher is also kind of a good idea. And I guess, you know, if there's any financial result of it, that would be good too. Um, so that's pretty much how we got in touch with them. And the experience has been, because we all know about Strategy First having something of a reputation. Yes, I did read uh, some aspects of that. Uh, at least at the moment, in my you know short time with them thus far, I would say you know two to three months, um, it, it's been nothing but good at this point. They've definitely helped me get my you know older products on uh, Steam. And uh, you had mentioned in the video as to why they hadn't put their logo in the title. Uh, title screen reason being actually is you know being a game that was completely finished at this point you know reopening up those resources just wasn't really in the time i figured as much but you have to nitpick yeah it's true enough true enough but as as of the moment um certainly a really good people there i've been working with um uh robert eaglesham who uh, works there uh, basically kind of like my handler for <laughs> getting the games there and um he's great so um I'll be happy to you know continue to report on my uh my experience you always hear these stories and you know how it can be with video game press and reviews and people the echo chamber can get a bit crazy right exactly yeah it's it's always more complicated than you might think so what do you think would be your one big takeaway from static for me, I got a new career out of it. Um, you know, I basically, we hired models from Model Mayhem. So people who work with professional photographers on a regular basis. And as part of their payment, they got a disc of all the images we took, not just the ones that made it into the game. And, you know, when they got them, the things that they were saying to me is like, wow, you don't do this professionally. You should do this professionally. These are better than some of the other photographers we've worked with. So um, I started exploring that as a career. And that's part of the reason I haven't worked on another game since is because I was focusing on getting my name out there as a photographer versus the, a game developer, because that's not what I am at all. Um, I enjoy writing a story and, and giving it a different kind of life than it would have in a book. Um, but I would just have to say, you know, it, it showed me that I wasn't just um, destined to be a cog in a machine at a day-to-day -day job. My takeaway is that the game now, so I can die extra happy. <laughs> um and it's shown me, you know, the difficulties of writing an FMV game. It's shown me some of the benefits of writing an FMV game. I definitely think I will write at least one more FMV horror game uh, in my lifetime. This um, is news to me, VT Dumps. Oh, yeah, I guess it is technically. <laughs> I will likely do it. It will likely be first person. Um, uh, <laughs> No, I think I will leave that to, to better folks. I would actually rather enjoy playing that rather than making it. <laughs> um, but um, something something also along, you know, the, the more scary, serious line rather than camp, per se. Oh, yeah, I really appreciate this. And again, I'm really glad you guys are good sports about this. I know this is... Well, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to interview us. Well, like I said, when we watched the video, you were pretty much spot on. Like the things that you were saying were the things that we were saying when we released it. And, you know, the reasoning behind it was the reasoning why we were not doing things more with it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, everybody in between that does it for this session of Conversations with Some Guy. I'd like to thank Raymond and Jackie Jacobs for their time. And check out their other games. I hear they're pretty good.